Good afternoon, everyone. Well, it's hard to believe that we're already into April. And in about a, another month, month and a half at the latest, I'll have all my tropical trees outside. Everything is doing very good. Um, even my Fukien tea has started to take right off this last month or so. And even my hibiscus. We're just about to get some flowering up on top. And if I I may remove that leaf so that we can allow other flowers to come out behind there. And there's some coming out on this one here too. Now it hasn't done a lot of growing over the winter time, but you can see here where the smaller leaves are is where I had it cut back to last summer and now it's growing again and I think I'll leave it at this length for now and after my flowers and blooms are gone I'm gonna cut it back again um, I might leave it just a little bit higher but not much I've got lots of strawberries this year for a strawberry patch outside in the garden. Um, if you ever get some strawberry plants, these are wild ones. You can bring them inside over the winter time and let them grow their pups. And then all you do is just cut them off as they grow. And before long you'll, you'll have many of them. And then you just uh, plant them. So these are all going outside this year in that little strawberry patch. And down here where my herbs are, um, I got this uh, planter. This was from last fall. And this is a dragon plant. And um, it was about, I'd say about two feet tall. And a couple months ago I cut the leaves back on it and then it barely fit up underneath my light. I left it like that for a short time because I thought well I'm just gonna leave this go and it'll make a good house plant. And then I got thinking that maybe I'll just try to turn this into an interesting looking tree. So I just I cut it off and over this past month you can see we got some new growth coming out at the sides here on both sides and then another one underneath here so we'll see so I guess you could see it's growing ears I guess so we'll see how that that works out and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this asparagus fern um, we've already got a big one as a house plant and I'm not too sure if I want another one so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this yet it's nice and green now anyway after being fertilized and underneath the lights it's uh it's really taken off uh, my lemon cypress cuttings are doing fabulous. Um, they are, they're really filling in. Getting much larger. And this little guy just keeps on growing. This one ceases to amaze me. Um, yet, the last while it, it's really taken off. It almost started out from nothing as this one here was just withered away just barely hanging on so it's really turned around which is good uh, the one in the back is doing great um, I'm gonna be planting my ficus cutting soon I can show you here that 
really getting some decent roots on them now. Um, something else I'm going to try. I haven't really seen them growing tree-like, but more so as bushes or flowers, is these uh, goldfish plants. Now I put one in the water here and it's really started to grow roots quickly. This was only about two weeks ago. And also, even a flower came out on it and there's another one that's waiting to come out. So this thing propagated very, very quickly. We have a larger plant of this upstairs too. So I'm going to try and just uh, see if I can make it tree-like. See what we can make out of it. This is getting small little roots on the bottom as you can see. There's a long one here at the side. And the same thing. It's really started to take off out the side here and that's really only shot up the last couple of weeks. So it really loves just being in the water. So I'll be doing a, I'll be planting those too and see what I can make of these. These here are just jalapeno plants. Last year I kept a couple jalapenos and opened them up um, and saved the seeds. And then this year I've planted some. So I got another couple containers growing of these too and I'll put them outside. And they, uh, they're really great to put in your food. You can even, if you're making omelets, I even like to cut them up and put them in my omelets too. They're very good and they're really good for you. And here's the uranium. And uh, actually we'll just take this out here. This is really doing great. It's really taken off too. It's really starting to develop quite the trunk compared to just a couple of months ago when it was you know still yet a very small seedling. So this has really grown too. Really big leaves and we got a lot of new growth up in the top that's still coming on. So, as you can see, everything is growing very good. Uh, my bougainvillea, I was going to tell you guys about it. Um, two and a half months ago, two months ago, it started putting out all, all new leaves and these brand new shoots that you see here. So it's just doing fabulous right now. We're getting another one there and another one down on the back. So we're just going to kind of let it grow wild here. Get some more vigor in my little tree here and down into our roots and it'll help to thicken up our trunk. So it's doing good now. Not too sure what happened before. Um, it was just going, uh, it was stressed for some reason or other. But it seems to be happy now. So that's, uh, that's the good thing. So I'm going to be doing a good pruning on that probably in about, I'm going to leave it grow till about June. So we've gotten a lot of new growth on all the trees, which is really good. The jade trees are doing great in the cuttings. Um, this one in here is really taken off. I think since the last time I did a video on these cuttings, um, especially this one here has grown about two inches. So it, it's just done fabulous. 
Uh, the larger one has grown about, I'd say, about an inch and a half. And the other little ones have grown about an inch. So, doing, they're doing fabulous too. I also picked up a <laughs> an old uh, poinsettia left at Christmas time. This thing was withered away to nothing. Um, I just brought it home and started watering it. And amazingly enough, we just got some leaves just starting to come on the tops here. So we'll see how that works out. can see those little ones there and we got some other growth that's coming on there and a few other spots actually down here now that I'm looking at it so we'll see what happens well guys that's my update for today and we'll talk to you soon